Hey, what's up everybody? We're back in Alan Wake, and apparently all the birds have decided to go Hitchcock and land on the porch of my cabin where Uncle Barry, as I've come to know him, is, uh, hold up. What's in there? Still had to reach Barry at the cabin. Hey, what you got in here? Out of the woods. All right, I'm out of the woods and into the frying pan. That makes no sense. Okay, so yeah, you know, apparently they just, you know, decided to all land on his porch and just be all creepy. So I can't wait to see what that looks like, because you know, birds are creepy as hell anyway. See, see what they do? They sit there and they wait for you to get close, and then they just fuck you. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Damn straight. <laughs> Alright, why do I get the feeling this is gonna not end the way that I expected to? What's in there? Washington. Washington. <laughs> it says Washington, though. Alright, so. The manuscript page. I'm gonna go in here. Because I'm not supposed to be in here. What the fuck? There's no toilets! And who the hell was, like, you know, sleeping in the showers? There's no... Okay. I'm gonna walk away before I try and think, think my way through this and hurt myself. Alright. Over to the men's room where something no doubt sinister to has to, uh, garage. be waiting for me. Oh, now they're all fucking closed? I can't open them, can I? Yes. What's that noise? Ah, shit. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Listen. Listen, you bathroom fucking cunt. Yeah. Now you died like Elvis. How does it feel? Jack shit. Fuck. Cocksucker. <sighs> Alright. I swear to God, if that car doesn't crank. Why are the headlights on? Like, seriously, like. I guess it's already running. I'm just unlocking the garage. Yeah. Drive! Wait, I actually get to drive it? Holy crap. Didn't expect this! Oh, I'm so running you over. Okay, this is... This is... Oh, good god. I, I'm not good at driving in video games anyway. Alright. Which way am I going? Oh, oh yeah. All right, dodge the uh, jackknifed lumber truck. Whoa. Ah, fuck. Okay. I hope this truck is uh super invincible, because it's going to need to be more than just invincible with me driving it. Alright, I recognize this. We're back! Barry! Oh, fuck. We're not there yet. This is where we are. Um, I gotta go up here. Oh god, this is... Awkward to control. I would have much preferred mouse steering. The f fucking... God damn it. Really? I can kill the car's battery? Interesting. Alright, how do I get out? <sighs> we had a good time, didn't we, truck? Sprint. Run away. I see the light. Oh, 
Oh, fuck off. I have no flares. Son of a bitch. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. They all disappeared when I stepped into the light. Now I'm just gonna sprint. Just fucking sprint. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Evil Ben Stiller. Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. <laughs> the birds! Okay. The Barely hell, man. The birds over the phone. Pick up everything. We're gonna blow some shit up with this flare gun. It's gonna happen. Is this gonna be like some kind of big fucking like battle here? Ow! Ow! I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Ah shit. Ah shit. What are they doing? Ah. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Whoa. Yeah, burn up, fuckers. What the hell? Huh? Yep. Oh, look at them dropping like fireflies. Ha ha ha. I made it funny. It wasn't very funny. Again, I'm sorry if you hear the uh, the gum I'm chewing on at the moment. Where's the next grouping? Oh shit, the tree scared the fuck out of me. Oh, it's above me. What the fuck? Just die. Okay. Well, next time you come up, we're gonna do this. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Go fuck yourselves, birds. I have one flare left. I probably should have conserved that. Alright, oh, yeah, it's just bouncing off. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I got really fucking dark now. Gotcha, bitches. Next, next ones. E. E. All right, where are they? Flare, flare. Do it. There it is. That's right. Holy shit.
about goddamn time. Hey, Al. I'm... I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Uh, we're just sharing one now. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Huh. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. Uh. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old year diner. Good girl. Yeah. That's creepy. What the fuck? Um, sure. That's cool. I need to get my What the hell am I playing? Oh god. Alright. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna end this here. Um Yeah. We will continue this from the beginning of episode three in the very next episode. Let's see if there's a cutscene first. Previously on Alan Wake, That's just Alan this. has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? Yeah, skip it. Yeah. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Hmm. Help you, All folks. Right. Name's Randolph. I'm the I'll see you guys. We're looking Shut for the fuck Rose. up. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway <laughs> to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway... There was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Well, shit. Creepy. I can't wait to continue playing. Until then, ta-ta. <laughs>